previously. I guarantee that you you have no idea what I'm bringing today. I, I can almost say that with confidence. On Progression Series Season 2. I got <laughs> OTK'd with Frog Monarch? Like, <laughs> how the... What the... What? It, why? How do I lose to this? How do I lose? I, I'm actually, like, sick of it, bro. I've lost to... <laughs> Vanity's Fiend controller. In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh! booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. But this time around, we'll be introducing Producing side sets, a new banning system, and plenty of other fun surprises that you'll just have to watch to find out. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series Season 2. Yeah! Call me Butta, cause I'm on a roll! If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. snatch deal we've had in a minute. I'm quite excited to have spun it because Alex has a few things on his collection that I didn't end up getting. Some of them range all the way back to DM era, uh, but some of them are more recent that he's picked up, and the more recent ones are pretty appealing. I'll tell you what I'm up against. I have three different cards that I'd like to pick. One of the ones is obvious that we've talked about a few times, and that's Laval Val Chain. Um, this is an incredible card that came out of the most recent Hidden Arsenal we opened, and uh, it's a very banned rank four. Being able to stack the deck or just foolish burial a card is insanely powerful. I ended up not getting a copy of this in my hidden arsenal, and I really wanted it. So Alex ended up getting, I think, three of them. Good for him. Maybe I steal one from him. Speaking of stealing, he also has number 16 Shockmaster that he just got from his promo pack. This card's very, very strong. I think in Alex's deck, we didn't get to see the full potential of the card. I'm pretty sure there might be other rank four strategies out there that can make better use of Shockmaster, but um, I don't, I don't know. Maybe he isn't the right choice. He's gimmicky, and he can definitely win games, but there might be a better one. The other one that I'm thinking of is actually, honestly, Mirage of Nightmare. <laughs> this is a card from way, way back in Ferrana Guardian that Alex has had since the beginning of the game. I think as we start to get later into the game, as we start to see kind of the tempo of it change and cards going from to Graveyard mattering a lot less, uh, Mirage of the Nightmare honestly gets better. Once per turn during your opponent's standby phase, draw until you have four cards in hand. And if you do during your next standby phase, randomly discard the same number of cards you drew. Um, obviously, there's a combo where you can like MST the Mirage during draw phase or something like that. So you just keep the plus four, but also, like I said, cards mattering going to graveyard, um, it, they matter a lot less. I can pitch dragon rulers out of my hand and that's literally no problem, right? As long as I got four cards deeper into my deck, maybe I drew something that was infinitely more powerful. You know what? I think as much as I like that idea of Mirage and Nightmare, there's been other banned cards that we have at one that I feel like should make more of an impact that they don't. Card of Safe Returns, one of the one that kind of like comes to mind that we still have. It's really broken. Um, so I think I'll go into something that I can more reliably make. And as cool as Shockmaster is, it does it's a little restrictive being three level fours. So I'll go with the most generic on the list, and that's Laval Val Chain. While we have it in this era, he's really good, but I feel like later on down the line in the progression series, this card's only gonna get even better, and it can maybe develop some really cool strategies around it. That's why I think Laval Val Chain's gonna be our best bet. I'm gonna take him. Alright, Alec, go ahead and spin your stupid wheel, bro. Maybe you get lucky with something. I cannot believe last episode played out the way that it did. Holy crap. Um, well, we did it. We managed to fend off the full power dragon ruler onslaught. And uh, while we have a new ban list in effect, this is September, 2013, all the babies are banned, but we're playing by traditional, which means they're all at one. The daddies are still at three, but unfortunately for Gage, he only has one of a few. So he can still play the deck, but I think he loses a lot of the potency. Well, it's gonna be interesting to see how things progress from here, but let's start by spinning the wheel, ladies and gentlemen. We get to claim a fresh prize for winning last episode. And more importantly, we're still one win ahead of Gage. Um, 
Ultra Rare Wild Card. Was there anything good in Judgment of the Light that we wanted? So looking at the Ultra Rares, uh, the only thing that really stands out to me is Mass Chameleon. This is a neat little card that actually allows us to do some one-card synchro plays, and it's a reptile, so it's searchable with uh, King of the Feral Imps, actually. So for some of our, like, rank four base strategies, having this as an option isn't terrible. Really, all we have besides that is Mermelio and Trap Tricks Trap Hole Nightmare. We already have Key Beetle. I don't really care that much about Psyhemoth, if I'm being honest. So I think I'm going to go with the Mass Chameleon. Mass Chameleon also never gets a reprint for us in the progression series. I think it gets a reprint in a tin, but I don't think we're doing... I mean, we might do tins. I don't think we've... Well, no, we haven't done tins up until this point. Yeah, give me Mass Chameleon. These... Mermelio and Trap Hole Nightmare get reprinted again. So if we want to play Hat, we'll, we'll have chances. Mass Chameleon's locked in the collection. And uh, today's set, Legendary Collection Joey's World has some fun new cards as well. We'll have Gage tell you all about it. Look, I don't want to hear it, man. I lost to a deck probably built a decade and a half ago <laughs> with the most powerful deck. One of the most powerful decks in Yu-Gi-Oh's entire history. Um, in tip-top shape, too. I don't, I don't even know what to say, bro. I don't even think I'm playing that bad. Lose a friggin' Vanity's Fiend Pass, and you don't see the outs. It is what it is. We're just going to brush it off. We're going to get in the next game. We'll tie it up again. Don't worry. Don't lose hope, guys. I promise. I promise we'll get the lead at some point. Today's set is also a really exciting one today. We're opening Legendary Collection Joey's World, and I think this set's... It's all right, you know? There's a couple debuts in this set that were really strange at the time. One of the ones in particular ended up breaking a format, or ended up just being an auto-include in every deck. We'll get to that in a minute. Some of the reprints and stuff were pretty neat. I know Pet Dragon was a really good reprint at the time, and then Dancer was also a debut that was pretty sick. Uh, but again, this is one of those things like Yugi's World that we just opened, where it's a lot of DM staples that half of the ones we don't even need because we've gotten through reprints. But it is what it is. We're going to make the most out of it. We're going to see if we can get something. We're opening 15 packs today, which is equivalent to three of the little mini boxes that you would get. As for notable things, I said Dancer is a really good uh, introduction here into this set. Um, especially with the new Harpy Lady support, like, Dancer's pretty okay. Pet Dragon was a good reprint at the time. I think we were already fortunate enough to pull one in another pack. I think there's another stab at Trade-In, which we don't have a full set of yet, which is pretty neat. I think it only came out in a Structure Deck before, which is pretty good. But, like, look at this, man. Like, look at these Super Rares. There's not one Super Rare in here that I can't think of that we, we already have, like, play sets of. I, yeah, same with the... <laughs> these are so bad. These Rares fucking suck. Like, Lava Golem's okay, but we already have three of them, right? Seeker Rares... All right, there's a couple here. I, I mean, Red Eyes, Darkness, Metal Dragon's actually pretty sick. I think this is one of the ones that we don't have access to yet at all, actually, now I think about it. There's a jump promo before this, and was a, a promo for Ancient Prophecy before that. So this might be our first chance to get Red Eyes, Darkness, Metal Dragon. That's pretty nice. Outside of that, every <laughs> I ain't got nothing to say outside of that. There's nothing else good in here, man. What the fuck? What about the commons? Commons are pretty bum... Have all these cards here. You'll see there's one card in particular that, that'll catch your eye. It'll catch my eye when I see it, too. Any minute now. Illblood reprint's, like, kind of neat, I guess, right? Goblin Zombie reprint. I'm pretty sure this already got a common in a gold series. Not as exciting. Probably I'm hyping it up for no reason. Well, there it is. Six cents. Uh, for some reason, this card got debuted in this set. I think it was to sell the product, probably. <laughs> Uh, Six Sense was a card that immediately on release, they limited it. They released the card limited. Declare two numbers from one to six. Your opponent rolls a six-sided die. If the result is one of the numbers, I draw that many cards. Otherwise, I mill those top of the cards. So what you do is you say, I activate Six Sense. I call five, six. And if your opponent rolls a five or a six, you draw five or six cards. Hit anything else, you mill up to four cards for free. I, I couldn't even tell you why this card ever existed. This is probably a card that just never should have gotten printed. Um, but they did it. I, again, I imagine it was to sell the product. It was a short print common, too. This card wasn't easy to get. I have nothing else to say. There's nothing else good in this set to think about. We're just gonna probably breeze through it. We're gonna get through it real quick. Um, maybe we get a red MD. That'd be pretty hot, but I'm not expecting much. Just terrible, but oh, I got my pity packs. What are those? Astral Pack 3. I'm gonna be honest. I don't remember what's in Astral Pack 3. Doesn't really... Nothing, nothing jogs my memory for that one. We'll just open the three of them and see if we get anything good. I'm not too worried about not getting anything bad from this either. Let's see what we get. Flip them up. Wall of Thorns. Wow. Wall of Thorns. And a Cambion Wizard. Wow. Wall... It wasn't Wall of Thorns. That one was Mermail Abyss Gun, which is a little bit better, but not that great. Whoa, Curtain of the Dark Ones, Pog. It is what it is. Uh, the Astro Packs, I think, in this era of the game, they end up serving... A much better purpose of giving higher rarity reprints of like lower rarity cards like gun was a, a a rare 
and even like that wall of thorns was like probably a common right <laughs> like i think that's where the astral packs are serving now rather than giving us much needed reprints like we did in turbo pack um so i think the quality of it starts to go down a little bit more but what are we gonna do complain let's just add it to the collection Let's get on to the big opening day. All right, 15 packs of Legendary Collection Joey's World. If you're wondering how we got to this number, we decided to take three of the sets, and each set contained five packs, so three times five, 15. We did this for Yugi's World as well. It's better than just opening five packs of this like we've done with like other Legendary Collections. That way we get some more cards. But let's see if we get... Uh, ooh, right off the bat, I'm happy to see this. Imperial Iron Wall has not yet had... A printing for us. This may be one of the first few printings it has. So we will definitely be taking that in case Gage decides to run it back with Dragon Ruler once again. Harpy Dancer is one of the new cards out of this set. I don't really think Harpies are viable, but I guess I can check my pool just in case. Uh, Silva's pretty sick, but I don't think we can play Dark World. Premature Burial and Mirror Force, I believe, are both on the Hall of Fame. So I don't think either of those are actually beneficial. I think, funny enough, that may be our third Pyramid Turtle, though. I think we've only had two this entire time. Also, Zombie World. I think the only other chance we had to get this was in a Structure deck. And obviously, we don't open those in Prague. So having access to this is kind of annoying for uh, any sort of, like, tribute-based strategy. Yo, Red MD? Oh, shit. Okay. Now, unfortunately... I don't really have a lot to do with this, at least not that I can think of off the top of my head. I have like a bad Hieratic deck technically, and I have some rulers, but I don't think two titles enough to constitute playing like full on dragons, but Red MD is pretty sick. Okie dokie, we are opening 15 packs of Joey's World. There it is. We are looking simply for the sixth sense. That's the one card I'm looking for from the set. If I don't get that, I'm gonna be angry, bro. I'm gonna be pissed off. What do we got? MST and Seeker Rare. Oh my god. Harpy Lady 1. Pog. About what I expect. About what I expect. Hey, Dancer. Dancer as an Ultra Rare is really sick, actually. I was talking a little bit about this. This card's really cool. Uh, being able to bounce a Wind Monster to the hand and then Normal Summon another Wind Monster uh, ends up giving you another trigger off of, you know, something like Hunting Ground is pretty cool. Yeah, this was a pretty good support card at the time. Harpy Dancer was actually pretty sick. Third Heavy Storm already. Wow. Second copy of Zombie World, you know, for the sideboard, just having this in case Gage decides to, like, be like me and play a Monarch deck during this point in Progression Series, like, it's pretty strong. <laughs> Second copy of Harpy Dancer. You know what? I should actually consider if Harpies are an option because Dancer is quite good. We haven't pulled Chan... Oh, no, Channeler wasn't in here. Channeler was in Tachyon Galaxy, was it? I think it was in one of the core sets, and I don't think we pulled her. Oh, a second heartbeat answer, and look at me, bro. The greediest guy around, Hysteric Party, is actually really sick pull, too. Man, maybe we got the heartbeats. We can bust them out again. Two dancers, really sick. I like it. Wow, that's a lot of green. <laughs> Rejuve, Rhoda, Foolish. This is, I think, man, I think long ago, before I picked up a Foolish Burial for my Starlight, I think I ended up getting one. Uh, this was our first stab back at it in a while. This was going to be our opportunity to get it in here. Feathers, Duster. Oh, man, bro. If only that was still legal, right? The Harpies are coming in clutch. Big thing in the pack, though. I didn't even... I almost missed it, too. Six cents. We got our one copy of it, right? We were bound to get it. It's only a common. It is a short print, but I'm wondering if the simulator even knows that, right? Do you guys know Duname's Dark Witch is not even a dark monster? It's not even a witch. It's not even like a spellcaster. It's a fairy. What sense does that make? Dude, Torrential Tribute, Monster Reborn, Harpy Lady 1. Jeez, bro. Those are some banger cards. Too bad we already have them. Oh, Red Eyes, Black Dragon, and Ultra Rare. Wow. OG Harpy Lady? Man, bro. Dark Hole. Oh, Iron Wall is actually not bad. This is a card that I'd love to have three of. I think I already have three of it. I'm going to assume I have three of it. I'm going to assume that good, I'm that good at the game. Third Harpy Dancer. <laughs> That's fucking sick. Uh, Dark World Dealings. Wow. All right, last pack. Anything big? Rygeki. Lava Gold. All right, we got the Sixth Sense. We got some Harpy Ladies. We got three Dancer, which is like really above average, I think. I'm not re-rolling this. I'm not re-rolling this. Yeah, all right. Add it to collection. Let's see what we're playing today. Damn, if we didn't have Harpy Queens, like we're getting everything for Harpies, but it is Joey's world, so I guess it makes sense. Also, shouts to Strike Ninja for being one of the sickest cards ever. Uh, only a few packs left. I guess we can do the last few here. Feather Duster, sadly, is, I believe, collectively banned on the Hall of Fame, but that would be pretty cool. Stelle, I believe we already have. Nothing great there, unfortunate, and, uh, oh, we have two packs left, excuse me. Already have Avarice, that's a third Dancer, that's crazy. What do we get in the last pack? Uh, I don't think, 
second copy of Iron Wall. Ooh, that's pretty good. Now we didn't get Sixth Sense, but Sixth Sense, I believe is short printed. So it's not guaranteed. And we only have 15 packs to open anyway. So it, it's kind of a weird card in that regard. I'm gonna double check Joey's World set uh, list just to see if there's anything I'm missing. So I'm looking at the set list. The problem with Sixth Sense is that there are 220 cards in the common slot. Uh, it's not short. I, I, it's supposedly it's short printed like in actuality, if I recall, like it was very hard to actually pull this card, but 220 commons. We only opened 15 packs and each pack had five commons per pack. So that's only 75 commons. So the likelihood of you pulling Sixth Sense is only like, like what is that? Like, and uh, rough math, like it's only 33% chance. And that's that's obviously just, you know, napkin math there. It's probably less than that in all honesty. Um, the only thing I feel like I'm really missing by not re-rolling is uh, Foolish Burial. And that kind of sucks just because this is a generic card that can be used in every deck. But I really like having two copies of Imperial Iron Wall. I'm not going to lie, just because this shuts down a lot of like banishing related strategies. And when is the next time this card is printed? So the next reprint this card gets, this has actually been our first opportunity to get it. I was right. So uh, it gets a reprint in OTS pack one, which requires us actually losing to even have a shot to get it. But it is a super. Foolish Burial, on the other hand, this gets reprinted in uh, Premium Gold Return of the Bling. And it's a gold rare. And I think the likelihood of us pulling it there is actually pretty high. So I think I'm going to lock this. It's it's a bit weird because like I said, Foolish Burial is pretty good. But I like having these iron walls. So we're just going to go ahead, add them to the collection. And that's it. Let's go ahead and get to building. I've got some fun stuff planned. Like I said, I'm not going to try to maul over the fact that our Dragon Ruler strategy in full power wasn't able to get us a win, even with Draco Sack. I can't believe it, bro, still. That's crazy. Now that we're under a new Forbidden and Limited list, the Dragon Ruler strategy is a little bit different. It's not Dragon Wars today, actually. <laughs> it's going to be something you'll see in the future, though. I'm sure of it. Wanted to play something different because I just feel like I need a little change of pace, right? I feel like I don't know if I'm playing optimally with the Dragon Ruler deck or if I'm just getting unlucky. Um, I feel like our last chance that we had was we were playing Worms and just being able to play sort of an attrition deck a little bit better than Alex is like the name of the game. He hasn't been rocking up with anything too impressive recently. I wonder what he brings today. I feel like our best bets have been with just decks that are just generically good. Like the gadgets being able to get multiple advantage and stuff. This is kind of in that same lane. It allows us to utilize a new card like Lavalval Chain. Which I thought would be pretty fun to play with, you know. Could also use Shockmaster. This could also be a deck that you Shockmaster. But um, obviously we didn't take it. We're playing Hunters. Which is the deck that utilizes level 4 Light Thunder type monsters. That when they're normal summon, they allow you to normal summon another level Light Thunder thing. So... What are those exactly? Well, those are the Hunters, the Maw Hunter, the Paw Hunter, which essentially have the same effect. Sis Hunter has sort of an effect that allows you to get something back from the graveyard if you use it. And then, of course, there's also Thunder King Ryo, which just happens to be a Thunder. And Walk Cobra, which Walk Cobra is a thousand attack, allows us to poke directly, and if it pokes, it adds any Watt monster. A little bit of hidden Nim Nim lore, Watt was actually the first deck that I had ever picked up fully in Yu-Gi-Oh! Ever. It wasn't good, but it's what I played. Cool card at the time. Eh, cool's an objective word. Kaiser Coliseum. This card was for some reason at three. This card gets banned very, very shortly because of just it being a rolling headache, honestly, I think. If we have one monster on the field, Alex cannot put more than one monster on the field. If we have no monsters on the field, Alex can go nuts. That's essentially how it works. We just underwent a new Forbidden Limited list, September 2013, and it was a big one. A lot of staples and stuff get changed around. Notably, Compulses at one. This is like a, the ultimate counter to Draco Sack at the time. Bottomless Trap Hole went to 1. Cards like Mizuki, cards like Plague Spreader went to 2. On, I, I have it up right here. Take a look. I was just looking at it. Uh, this is actually a huge list. Like, I, I don't know if Alex went and talked to you guys about it, but this was one of the biggest lists uh, at the time, right? And we needed it. All the Dragon Wars getting banned, like I said. Cards like Stratos for some reason. Shockmaster was banned. Alex still has it. Destruction, Gateway, Heavy. All these cards banned, bro. Look at this. This is insane. So there's a little bit that changes around. I think people really thought this was going to be a reset of the game. And it, it did fix a lot, but it wasn't. <laughs> I think the game after Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy still is drastically different than before. I think this list is fair. And you know what? Sometimes that's all you can ask for, right? The deck that wins 50% is sometimes the deck that you want to play. I think this list is like all around pretty solid. Maybe we'll be able to make Omega or something like that. I think it'll be all right. It being okay, me being a great duelist, I think that's a good enough mix. Hopefully we can take a win with it today. Kaiser Coliseum coming clutch. Please, Alex, play something that's going to go wide. I know you never do that, but we'll see if you do this time, right? All right, we're going to send it. I think the, the Hunters is the way to go. See how we do. 
Oh, are we choosing violence today? Uh, so I figure we haven't had a chance to run back Chainburn in a bit, and we actually have some new perks now. First of all, we got stuff like Battle Fader, uh, Dualities at three now, and what's nice is that we actually pulled a lone copy of Waboku out of uh, Battle Pack, was it? This is a card that we've never had access to because it was originally in Starter Deck, Yugi, and Kaiba. Same thing for Just Desserts, by the way, which still I don't think has a reprint up until this point, which is kind of one of the key things we're missing in this deck, so we kind of have to improvise a little bit. But in any case, we're trying to keep Gage off of his game, and I think this is the last thing he's probably expecting us to bring today. So let's see how pissed off we can make him. So if you don't know Chain Burn, uh, the whole goal is to just chain a bunch of cards together to inflict a just metric fuck ton of damage to just win the game and uh, just make his life a living hell, essentially. So Battle Fader slows the game down. Lava Golem gets rid of his guys and makes actually gives him a clock, both for the effect, but also if he attacks with Dimension Wall and he takes a shit ton of damage. Marshmallow is Stall and Burn. Swift Scarecrow is just for Stall. Chain Strike still one of the best Chain Burn cards ever printed, hence the name, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, it's only at two. We have three Poison the Old Man for Burn. We have three Duality and Pot of Greed for Consistency. One Scapegoat just to live. We're siding a second. We have Triple Accumulated Fortune to refill our hand. Ceasefire for Burn. Dimension Wall for Burn. Jar of Greed for Draw. Ojama Trio to give him tokens to clog his board, but also to set up for stuff like Secret Barrel. Reckless Greed for Draw. And then Threatening Roar and Waboku for Protection. The extra decks are relevant. I literally just took this from like the Evil Swarm deck I played a few episodes ago. And uh, for the side deck, I have Raikos in here. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why they sided Raiko back in the day. There, there's probably a reason, but I just threw it in just for generic removal in case Gage is playing anything weird. Walk Cobra, if I feel like if the deck isn't able to get enough damage off consistently enough, I can board into Walk Cobra. And this is just annoying because I can just keep poking him directly. And we have stuff to protect it like Threatening Roar, Waboku and such. And we can also bring in Messenger of Peace to be even more annoying in that regard. Guard. Dark Hole, just in case he's playing any, like, super aggressive deck that we just want to wipe stuff off the field. MST, in case he's bringing in, like, I don't know, Royal Decree or something, but again, he's probably not going to. A second go, and Triple Curse of Darkness. If you've never seen this card before, it's a uh, continuous trap that says, each time a spell card is activated, immediately after it resolves, the player that activated it takes 1,000 damage. So, I wanted to find more ways of, like, unavoidable burn, and Curse of Darkness is actually a pretty good one, just because most of our decks contain a lot of spells, and so I kind of like that this is something that he can't really play around and if he wants to use like MSTs on things or you know different things like that like in the end phase he's gonna have to pay a thousand life points to do that and that's an eighth of his life points there's not many cards that can do a thousand damage per card and not to mention this one sticks around so it could actually get out of hand quite quickly so we'll see what he's playing first and decide if we want to bring it in uh let's see what's gonna happen we're in a new format because we have a new ban list uh Joey's world's in effect so maybe we're gonna be seeing some fun stuff let's not make you wait any longer ladies and gentlemen it's time to duel Well, Gage, here we are. Uh, Dragon Rulers have been nerfed, but they're still around. And uh, Joey's World, actually quite a fun set. There's a lot of cool stuff that uh, is new and also stuff that we haven't had a chance to get before because it was in uh, just other products. And you were informing the audience all about this. Yeah, had to tell them all about it. A couple of cool things like Red MD. Would have loved to see that in the progression series a bit ago. I think oh, there yeah. some cool stuff with that. Uh, but also, there's some things that you question like, why was this card ever printed? Like, uh, I'm sure you've talked about Sixth Sense before. Yep. Why does that card exist? I don't, I don't know. know. But but it was in this set for some reason. It's so uh, there's some things there, but a lot of it is also just what we saw in uh, Yugi's World. A lot of DM staples were printed, and yeah. we got plenty of those, right? It's crazy, too, though, because if you look at, like, how big this set is, it's massive. It's like 300-ish cards if you add it all together or something like that. Majority of them are all common, though. Yeah. <laughs> lots well, of commons in the set. Yeah, and, like, if I recall, I'm not sure how it worked in the uh, the generator here for opening packs, but if I recall, Sixth Sense was heavily, heavily short-printed to, like, one per case as a common or something ridiculous like that. Uh, yep. Banned very quickly after, not to mention, but... Yeah. Uh, just still very funny that this is a card that the OCG had for ages. I think they had it back in like the early, you know, 2000s. And now here we are in what, 2013, having access to it for the first time in one of the craziest, you know, formats it could have been legal in of all things. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. That was, it was just a weird format to print it in. And then they, they even knew you remember they were like, oh, they we're going to put this card to one. <laughs> like you're not going to be only be able to play it at one. It was before it was release, released, right? wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah before recall. it was released, they made the announcement. Like they knew they, <laughs> they knew yeah. they probably shouldn't have did it, but very few cards were like it was like temple of the kings i think was banned before it was even uh released in the merrick structure deck it's Yu Gi Oh's a weird game it's weird anyway yeah. buddy let's get into it shout out the patron dj bullington thank you for the support Let's see how it goes buddy all right 
All right. Okay. Yeah, not good enough. Not good enough. Pretty you good. You failed me, die. You failed me, die. All right. I get to pick this time. What are you doing? I, I am going first, Alex. I'm going okay. to uh, try to set up some type of board here. We're going to see what we can it's do. It's scary. It seems like we're sort of at a tipping point here where we really want to start going first. But let's see what you got, buddy. Best of luck. All right. I think he's pretty good. I'm just going to throw down the uh, Thunder King Ryo turn okay. one here. Sure. I'll back him up with a little bit of a back row, and I'm going to pass it back to you. Sure. Uh, draw standby main. I'll go ahead and uh, just set three cards face down. Throw it to you. Go ahead. Oh, man. Always got to beat these back row, man. It's a lot of work. <laughs> I got to make your life hell somehow, right? All righty. So what am I thinking? Cards like Torrential. Torrential just go to one with this forbidden limit list oh uh, i don't remember you can check if you want i'm gonna check this was a huge ban list by the I way i was talking <laughs> about this this one was massive bro massive. even cards that you think weren't like that great in the game at the time cards like bottomless compulse yeah. all these cards go to one now and everything we've heavily been abusing compulse at three as well mm -hmm. and uh, honestly i can kind of see why that card would go to one. Oh yeah i even think for history of Yu-Gi-Oh, we titled the episode Yu-Gi-Oh's biggest ban list and uh it, it's very fitting Torrential Tribute, two to one. I, I knew okay. that I knew something happened to it, yeah. That's pretty important. That's pretty important. Mm -hmm. So some of your outs are looking a little bit slimmer. Um, You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play into them. I'm going to go summon <laughs> Wat Cobra. Wat Cobra? What the <laughs> fuck? You know what my oh. man Wat Cobra does, though? This guy's I know tough. what he does. I'm aware. I'm not happy about it. I'll say that much. All right. Yeah. Summon okay? okay. Summon, right, unfortunately, cool. is fine. A thousand with Wat Cobra. This is going to fucking resolve, isn't it? Well, I'm not going to be able to add. Keep that in mind. I have T-King. You do have T-King, which is beneficial in this exact instance. I'll take a thousand. Yeah. 19 off of T-King. I'll take the 19 as well. I should have attacked in like opposite order to force out a deep prison. But now I know you don't have it. I'm doing okay. Um, I'm going to just set up another back row of my own, and I'll pass it to you. Okay. I'll draw. Stand by main. I guess there's no time like the present. Have fun, buddy. Oh, my... <laughs> What are you fucking playing today, bro? <laughs> All right. Don't yeah. worry about All what right. I'm playing. You have to worry about the fact you just lost two monsters. Uh, and I'll set a card. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. I lost two monsters, but... And I you lose a thousand fucking, life points. Don't I got forget a 3, that. 3,000 attack point guy, bro. You're, like, you're you going to have to do something about him. I'm going to activate right, the pot of greed. Sure. Get a nice little refund on those two that I lost. Battle phase, golem for three. Uh, On attack deck, I will activate scapegoat. Cards at three now. I it think, is right? at three. Jesus, Very relevant. bro. Yeah, no link monsters, but <laughs> it is what it is. Sure. Is that fine? Yeah, put them up. Okay. Uh, we will go ahead and do so. Token. There we go. Going to take one out, I assume? Yeah. Take All right. One. I'll just go ahead and only summon three. Okay. I'll go main phase two. You know, it would be funny if every single time you summoned a token, like it summoned a different goat. Instead of just the same blue goat. I, we played this game fucking too much to think about <laughs> this shit. <laughs> I'm just going to pass turn there. Go ahead. Okay. I'll draw. Uh, stand by main. Uh, we'll duality. Yeah. Fortunately, you're going to get to see what I'm up to here. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Of course you would fucking cue this shit up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Man, fucking... are, you, are you worried, buddy? Uh, are you worried? I'm a little bit worried. I'm not, gonna, I'm not happy about it. Okay. Uh, we'll set one. Over to you. All right. Well, I'll take a thousand. Yeah. Uh, so this is an activated effect. Your lava golem is going to be chain link one here. So I'm going to go ahead and do some things. Uh, let's go ahead and fire poison of the old man. Chain link two. I'm going to choose to deal 800 to you. Then chain link three, jar of greed to draw a card. Chain link four, accumulated fortune to draw two. And then chain link five, chain strike to deal 2000. Okay, so you're so going to take 2,000. Two I draw two. I draw one from the greed. You take, take eight. And then you already took the 1,000 from Lava Golem. I did. Yeah, okay. So okay. we're going to go main right. phase one now. You're going to go to main phase one. All you. Okay. All righty. Um, I mean, I guess I got to start putting some pressure on you here. Um, Box ticking. I'm going to go normal summon Mahunder. Oh, we're going in. Sure. Yeah, Mahunder. And then I'm going to go Mahunder effect. Well, isn't it an activated effect? It is an activated effect. Yeah, yep. so Ma Hunter will summon Pa Hunter. Yep. This is not a uh, caster, if you're yeah, wondering. Yeah, and then <laughs> off of that, I'm going to reveal Kage to Kage. Oh, we're really going in. Sure. Did you know, uh, this will reveal something. I pulled six Pa Hunter and no Ma Hunter. 
<laughs> when we open this set. <laughs> that's pretty fucking crazy. Yeah. Dude, is this game? Is this game? If only there was a way to redo that spin. Oh, weird. These? Put that You there. have game? Oh, it's so close. Oh my god, it was so close. Yeah, I, I really thought I could weave a way to, to get game in this turn, but it, it's I just, think I see how you were trying. It's it. just really close. It's really <laughs> close, but it's not it. I'm going to overlay these two, yeah. and I'm going to go into Photon Papal Operative. I was about to say, I think this is happening no matter yeah, what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very clever, I will say. Very clever. I'm going to Photon Pappy. We're going to put just one of them into attack position here. It's a lot of damage. Three attack. Oh, wait. Wait, is this it? Why am I so dumb? I think this is game. Battle phase. Three. I take three big ones. Fourteen. I'll compulse the token game. Sure. Do you have Battle Fader? I do have Battle Fader. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, I got Battle Fader. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, you, you have an almost exact game, though. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. I was. I don't know why I was thinking about it so I think I just forgot Pappy was 2,000 attack on its own. Yeah. Um, Unfortunately, I gave you this Battle Fader for Pappy next turn, so I'm not looking forward yeah. to that. I mean, you, maybe you have the cards already to to nuke me out the game, right? Yep. Or maybe I'll find them with this unlimited copy of duality that I we mean, now have. I mean, Threatening Roar is going <laughs> to take you another Threatening turn. Threatening Roar is also a way to make sure that, you know, you can't do anything to me. We'll take this Threatening Roar. Yes. I will say, Pappy is a bit of a uh, liability. Um, Let's reset the fort. Avoid one Imperm column. Go ahead, buddy. Um, Draw... Standby, Lava Golem activates. Do you have anything? I do not have anything. Lava Golem resolves. Okay. Well, you're going to Threatening Roar me. I'm worried about cards like Dimension Wall now. I'm going to go Mahan. Uh, da, 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 all right, all right. What do you have? Uh, enter a battle phase. Do you, are you going to roar me here? You're just going to battle phase. Uh, Battle phase is fine. Okay, 14. Sure. It's banished. Scapegoat. Any of the battle traps. Um, Something's going to stop it. Dimension wall. I mean, <laughs> I, I, knew, I can't believe I had that read. That's crazy. I don't think there was a way to beat it, though. Um, Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to take 21. It, does it ban it? I'm sorry. I didn't even read this card. It does, no, it's, it's, it, you keep the monster. It's just you take the damage. Yeah. Uh, And then secret barrel for game. Yep. Mm, sounds about right. Oh... Very close, very close. It's always one of those decks, man. Your final countdowns, chain burns. It's either I'm ready for it or I'm not ready for it. <laughs> this one... I had to do the jump scare every once in a while. Yeah, this know? one, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it's going to pan out here. But what I do know is that if I've learned anything from Joe G. Orlando videos... Maybe letting the burn player go first is not the right move because giving you an extra card to burn with is a lot. So it is. You know what? I'm going to play it by the book. I'll play it by the book. Joe says go second. I'll go second. Happen. Okay. Oh, and it matters a lot because we don't get to draw a card during this time. Yep. Uh, where we otherwise would be. Uh, best of luck, buddy. Uh, main one. Oh, Sam looks fine. Uh,. Set the fort. Go ahead. This way looks fine. Set five. <laughs> Set five pass. Yeah. yeah. So it seems about like every chain bird hand I've ever seen. Stand by. What do we got? Nothing. All good. All good. Main one. Thrasher. Thrasher is fine. I know you're contemplating just attacking with this Thrasher. I, I, I am. I, I, I'm not gonna. Put, I'm not gonna put anything else. Start no. I don't want to start any chains. I don't want to put anything else on the board. I'm just gonna go battle phase with the Thrasher. I, am I? Am I? Yeah. 21. Uh, you can take 21. It's fine. I mean, I guess that's fine. Uh, actually, you know what? You know what? I don't have any other point I'm going to play this. Put that back there. I'm going to chain my lands, and I'm going to take 800 less life points. <laughs> uh, oh, just to reduce the... Yeah. Just to reduce the damage here? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's how this would work. Your punk takes the battle damage. You would have taken this battle. So, I mean, you would be technically taking thir 13. And then, so you take... Thir I take 13, then. Because it affects you. Yes. Yeah. All right. Or is that okay? We okay with that? Yeah, I mean, it, it's, a, it's a 
that's a nice way to like hold things I off. No, it's a yeah. good play. You can you can compliment me. It's fine. Go ahead. Your turn. <laughs> draw. Well, uh, go ahead. All right, all right. Off to the races. Draw. Stand by me. Here we go. All right. I'm not even worried. I'm not going to be worried about Lava Golem. Cobra. You know, Cobra's a clock for what it's worth. Um, Jeez. Uh, thank you. Okay. What do you even have? I'm like, <laughs> I'm thinking this is a Death Call. In, in response to Kage. Okay. Chain link one Kage. Got it. Yeah. Chain two Ojama Trio. Mm. What if this is Marshmallow? What if, what if that's what you're planning? And then I just a thousand you for game every single time here. That's fine. Okay, two two Ojama trios. Okay. Okay. Uh, nothing else. Okay, resolves. Resolves. So you get three tokens. Kage to Kage doesn't yes, summon. Yes, just stays also. in the hand here. I'll go battle phase and I'll a thousand with Walk Cobra. Thousand direct. I'll take okay, it. Okay, and then I'll trigger Walk Cobra. You'll get another Walk Cobra. Nice. See, there's a lot going on. You know, you, you have the Kage, and then you're getting another Wakobra off this attack. I have to, chamber and players have to think about this, okay? <laughs> right, I'm, I'm just going to shift the Thrasher <laughs> to defense. I'll pass turn. Sure. Okay. I'll draw. Okay. Show me the Marshmallow. Uh, standby main, set one. Over to you. Maybe that is what it is, bro. Maybe I'm just, like, out of this world. Standby main. Thousand from Cobra. Uh, It's unfortunately going to be fine. Cobra effect. Going to get another yes. search? Sure. Another Watt Cobra. All the direct damage in the game, bro. Main two, set them up. Your move. Sure, I'll draw. I'll set. I'll pass. Go ahead. Battle phase. Thousand direct. It's Watt Cobra's eating me alive. Yeah, thousand's good. <laughs> I have no more triggers for Watt Cobra. <laughs> for Watt Cobra. <laughs> you don't have Watt Giraffe? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a mandatory, doing? but I have no other targets. Uh, <laughs> Your move. If only it wasn't damage step, then I could like chain stuff <laughs> off of that. That'd be fun. Uh, during the what end phase, so I'm gonna do something. Uh, we're gonna go chain link one, poison the old man, burn you for eight. Okay. Chain link two, jar of greed. Okay. Chain three, uh, secret barrel. Okay, give me a second to think. Chain four, fortune. Sure. Actually, wait. Hmm. Uh, resolve. Yeah, resolves. This is all fine. Okay, so I draw two. Secret Barrel does five, uh, eight, 13 times two, 2,600 to Christ. you. Okay. Then I draw another off of Jar, and you take eight from Poison. Okay. Okay, I draw. Duality. Yep. There it is. Um, Secret Barrel's pretty good when you're on like a million things, so sure, take that. Shuffle it up, and we'll set some more. Over to you. Draw. Stand by main. Battle. Thousand. Just going for the thousand. Uh, so I'm not really a rush. Yeah, sure. Thousand's good. Your move. I will draw. I'm in a reckless. Yeah, Reckless is fine. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Standby, main. Battle. Thousand direct. Not into the face down. <laughs> I'm not making that yeah, mistake this late in the game. <laughs> uh, thinking. I'll go... Dimension Wall. I will activate Book of Moon on my Walk Cobra. To set him. Uh, chain three secret barrel. How much would this do? It's like 27. Uh, this is going to do 3,000. You have 15, 15 times two. I'm just cheating. Um. <laughs> I'm judgment. Oh, okay. You got judgment, so you're not completely dead. Uh, that's not correct. I can't math. Um, that's another 100. You're at what? This is correct. This is 16. You're, yeah, yeah, it is correct. This is resolve? Fortunately, I think it probably does. Okay. Uh, that kind of blows. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, so, and then you don't take any damage because no battle. Go. Uh, turn one on Reckless, so I do not get to draw. I figured you might have Judgment just because of the way that you were playing. 
Uh, so I will pass. All right, well, I'm going to hope you don't have anything. Um, I'm going to flip summon Walk Cobra. I'm going to Torrent Strike you. Nuke the board. I guess that lessens the effect of my other cards. I will go Chain Link 2, Threatening Roar, Chain 3, Chain Strike. How much is that? That'll just be 12, and then the gain, tokens yeah, getting gain. destroyed will kill you. Gain, yeah, would be game. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, you got it. Uh, I ain't got nothing to beat this. You got seven uh, tolls. I have like a I mean, seven tolls. Yeah. yeah, but like that's a thousand life. That's too much to pay when you're at sixteen. Yeah, unfortunately. Though, yeah. I mean, you had judgment. And, I mean, it's weird because they stopped the big burn cards. Like that judgment technically net gained you life points on the secret barrel, but it's kind of inevitable at the end of the day. Yeah, I was, I was thinking. You're about, right about like, this, by I the use way. It? Very funny. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about. It. I was like, do I use this judgment? on like your accumulated fortune sure so you don't get two cards and then like you deal bit burn damage a lot of burn damage because i'm paying half too but i was like maybe i cut you off of your thing but i was like you know if i do that like your secret barrel resolves i take three thousand life points i'm down to a thousand anyways like i might as well save this judgment for when i paying like 50 life points for sure it. and I, I when you're playing that type of game obviously it's dangerous right i, I lose things like to marshmallow on i yeah. lose the things like lava golem i lose any of these other things too so it's like playing to the outs you, you gotta see what you can battle but i can't beat them all here yeah. this is um unfortunately just wasn't ready for something like this yeah so this was actually something i was gonna bring for your ruler deck a couple episodes back because i figure you have like no way with rulers to really interact with this it's like Draco Sack's cool. Big Eye's cool. You know, Master Blades is cool. I, I literally don't care. Um, so the idea was some Chain Burn did top around this time. It was like a very weird rogue strat. And uh, I figured we'd give it a shot. And, uh, I, you know, I, I can't make it easy for you to get the crown back gauge. You get ever so close. Wow. And just like Sisyphus, the boulder's going right back down, buddy. Can't make I, it easy. I hate me. it, bro. Now I'm two episodes away again. Yikes, bro. I thought I was doing so good. I, I felt undefeated. Yeah. And then now I've lost to two decks from... A decade and a half ago. <laughs> in a row, bro. <laughs> but my deck did get bolstered. Uh, so three Battle Fader now, courtesy of Battle Pack. And also a card never before seen in Prague, Waboku. Uh, this was in Battle Pack as well, oh, as a matter of fact. wow, it's yeah, first that's right. We haven't the seen first chance we have to access this card. So having more ways that are chainable cards that protect me from getting killed. Uh, funny enough, I only pulled one, which sucks. But uh, I'll take another Threatening Roar for what it's worth. But... Uh, triple duality also just gives this deck so much more consistency than before. Uh, cause I can essentially, if I need burn, I take burn. If I need, uh, protection, I can take protection and triple scapegoat. I was only on two, but, uh, also just something that if you don't have like a papal operative access or a piercer, like Gaia Knight, uh, you just still have to fight through them. It's annoying. Yeah. No, I mean, it, it, we're not seeing the full effects of scapegoat to three, obviously no. yet. I think once we hit the link era, that's where the card really takes off. But at the time, yeah, yeah, bring it back. Like, what's the problem, right? Yeah. But then, of course, you run into stuff like this, and then sure. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> so the the funniest part about you playing Wat Cobra is that I boarded Wat Cobra because I'm like, oh, you oh, did? <laughs> yeah, because I have Messenger of Peace in the board as well, and I'm like, okay, if I need more damage, I'll just play this like little stall game and just Wat Cobra poke you. But you have Wat Cobra, and all the Thunder family uh, can hit under Messenger, so I'm like shit this doesn't work so uh, very funny that we both played walk cobra in the same deck who would have thought yeah i tried to take advantage uh, you haven't played a strategy like it yet they're in my sideboard now because i took them out but i'm playing like kaiser coliseum which was a really sick card back in the day to deal with decks that would go super wide yeah uh but obviously you're not playing more than one monster so like that entire strategy in my deck is not doing sure. anything at all sure i had like kaiser that. in batlin boxer i think i sided it though or you just didn't mm -hmm. see it one or the other but yeah, Kaiser is another abusable. We still have plenty of abusable cards, that's for sure. Uh, how, oh yeah, absolutely. How was your Joey's World opening? Um, it was about as good as it could be, right? I got my six cents. I didn't end up playing it in this deck, but I did get the six cents. Okay. Um, that's I ended scary. up getting. I, I got a lot of harpy cards. I got like a lot of dancers and stuff. I did but, too. Um, I did too. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I did not get my six cents. Um, no! I, I was going to consider re-rolling. I know everyone's going to be like, oh my god, why aren't you respinning? There's 200 and something commons in the set, and we only pull 75 commons in the entire yep. opening. So there's like a less than 30% chance, not even counting duplicates, that you're going to pull it. And so yep. the reason I kept is because I actually pulled uh, almost a full playset of Imperial Iron Wall 
So uh, if you yeah. want to bring back the rulers or any other banishing strategies anytime soon, I thought that's our first time we've had that access to that card as well. Uh, I also pulled a red MD, which is sick, but I don't really have Lucky. any dragon decks. Um, but yeah, I think it was good overall. The wheel, you can rest easy. Uh, it was merciful to you. I pulled a ultra rare wild card. So out of judgment of the light. And uh, I decided to pick up a Mass Chameleon, a nice little guy Ooh. that we can pick up with King of the Feral Imps that I thought might come in handy a little bit later on. Yeah, I used to like Mass Chameleon back in the day. He's awesome. He can summon really Photon Thrasher. He can? <laughs> yeah, really sick. Yeah. Yeah, I, not, I don't know, man. These last two weeks, bro, I got slammed by you. I thought for sure I'd be taking the victory in one of those You weeks, were but... so close to tying, and now look at you on the verge of a banning next episode. What's happening God, over I have there, buddy? Banning? I haven't heard those <laughs> words in forever. Don't. <laughs> Don't, don't speak it into existence, bro. I'd hate it. So, guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So, shout out to Shout1317, Tim00x3, MBT Play, Medulce, Moto, Cameron L. Smith, Phoenix the Immortal, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Man Hoban, Draconic, Little Fade Leaf, Dylan Hunter, Cody Brett's Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Flannel Daddy, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, Helios515. I tried reading cards before, it was horrible, and my guinea pigs had to get me therapy. Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, MBT Cancel Bio Community Soon, Cancel Bio Committee Soon, Cancel Bio player soon uncle brian of stardust nicholas carpenter corvain and peyton mcgrath thank you all so much for watching and we will see you next time